Rogers to pick it up. I don't think I, I don't know about that. Why? Are you in Iowa City? Yes. <laughs> there you go. You can do it. You can do it. 206 Lafayette Street. We'll have your special prize book called, like, Dreams of Alanon or something. Alon? <laughs> if I show up and it's not there, I'm going to be even mad. Dreams More of mad. an Alon National? More mad than I was before when you hung up on me. <laughs> no, I, I guarantee you there will be a copy, a cop, 28 copies of that book. And one of them. <laughs> yeah, all of them? Uh, I think I would be in trouble if I gave you all of them, but... You can absolutely have one free copy of that book as soon as you come down and claim it. I will. Thanks. When is this place open? Well, we're open... Typically, we're open Monday through Thursday, noon to 10 p.m., Saturday, 9 a.m. to 6 p.m. So just feel free to stop by at any time when we're open and ask for your free and copy. i get a book. Oh, yeah, of the book. A free book. Can yeah. I sell this book back for money to Iowa Book? You can try. The oh. guy, the director in the booth, is nodding his head yes. So, what, yeah. um, what, how should the book be referred to? I mean, if somebody comes in and just says, I want my book, and you're not here. Well, I know. Okay. I'll be mad. You know what? If you're serious, if you're really going to claim this, this I'll prize. I'll just ransack your station and take everything. I am going to put a book aside for you. I'm going to put a book right there. On it's the shelf, winner. when you first come in, the white shelf, I'm going to set one of those books, and I'm going to put a post-it on it that says, Good. for prize winner. Yes, prize yeah. winner, I like that. That's you. All right, <laughs> that'll be, I will keep it on the shelf, I'll keep it on the okay. shelf for the next week, and then if we don't see you between now and the next live episode of the Juby Show on Tuesday, uh, I don't know, I don't know what happens. Hopefully, I'll call in again and request another book. Exactly, exactly. All right, it's a deal. Thanks for calling and winning um, mm -hmm. our cool trivia game. Thanks for the book. You're welcome. You're going to love it. I will. I'll let you know if I like it. Okay. Excellent. Hey, well, I don't... Do I, have I seen this book? I don't know. It's sitting on the, on the counter back there with... You know, there's a stack of them sitting back there. It says, uh, take a book if you want one. I might have to check, check it out. You might have to do check Do I have to check out. them out? You can have one. Okay. Do girls call into your show often? Um, not terribly often, but it's not uncalled. I mean, uh, uncalled. It's part. not uncalled. <laughs> it's not. I wonder if any other girls watch your show. No, yeah. It's, oh, it's girls just, definitely watch this show. Ooh. I would say that people who actually like the show, it's more likely that we have we have more girl fans oh, than really? boy fans because most of the boys who call us just like to call us swear words and um and you know <laughs> vulgar names. So the boys are jealous. Exactly. Boys are threatened by how meek and mild we are. <laughs> I understand now. Yep. I have to eat my dinner now. So yeah. Okay. okay. Go back to your show. Go feed your dinner now. Feed Thanks, your dinner. Thanks for calling. Have bye a great bye. night. You too. Bye. Bye. Hope she wasn't mad that we hung up on her again. We did it. We didn't. I think we could. I think we let that one okay. play out. I think. I think that one concluded naturally. And, yes, she was nice. That was one of our ever-so-rare nice callers. We get those once a month, maybe maybe twice a month. <laughs> yep. Sometimes nobody calls, but usually when people call, they're mean. Usually. Last week somebody called, but it was Hans. Yeah, I recognized him. <laughs> That's nice, too. All right. Did he ever give you a ride home? No, no. I was kidding about... I, I figured you were. <laughs> I figured you were. Yeah, he, he he texted me a couple of times, though, to see if I was serious. <laughs> <laughs> and you didn't take him up on it? <laughs> well, no. I guess he does live on the opposite side of town. Yeah, and then the second time he texted me, it was too late anyway. He'd, uh, he'd already gotten himself drunk, and there was no getting, oh. him, no getting him out of the house at that point. Oh, my gosh. All right, we've oh, got a... We still have three of these here. You read. You read that one. To all the haters. To all the haters. This is a letter. Letter we got. This is a letter in we our mailbag. Write your mailbag to jubyshow at gmail.com and send your YouTube videos of you dancing also to that address. <laughs> I, to all the haters who cannot take a compliment, I don't understand why people want to hate on me because I paid a compliment to a pretty woman I saw on the street. 
Could it be that nobody has paid you a compliment lately? Instead of all the hate, you failed to comprehend what I was trying to say by paying too much attention to misspelled words. Who cares? So I'm not a, coll- a, a, I'm not a collage student like the rest of you perfect people out there. Learn to take a compliment from... Oh, no, there are no froms. No, none of these have any froms, which is disappointing. Well, so, um... Even though he's not a collage student, he wants to be able to say that you're pretty without... D- despite people not having said anything like that to you lately. Lately, yeah. Yeah. Don't, um, What do you be... think about that? If somebody gives you a compliment, should you... What should you do? What's the appropriate... How do you take a compliment? I can't take a compliment. I don't know what to do. I just kind of, like, laugh like an idiot. I'm like... <laughs> uh, yeah, I don't know. I don't take compliments that well myself. But I don't know what he means ex- exactly, because... Clearly, it, it was... It was... It was addressed to a pretty... Pretty... Pretty woman... Do you know what I mean? So of clearly course. he wanted somebody to see it. What was he even trying to say? Well, I'm trying to tell what kind of compliment he means. I don't know. I what... don't think he says what the compliment was. He doesn't. He doesn't. But let's just say that he wrote this one, I could not stop staring at your ass. That, for example, I don't think is going to be well received as a very polite compliment from most people. Especially if you don't even know the person. You've never met them. You don't if know you've what their known name them is. for like five years yeah. and, you just, and you just come out with that, that's probably... Still well, a little weird. Still weird. You've known this person for five years, and suddenly they tell you they can't stop staring at your ass. Yeah. That's gonna make you uncomfortable. Yeah. I just think you should maybe not use that as your initial come on line. It's it's off putting. And then there's this thing about extremely beautiful woman who's an angle. I mean, that was the angle. I don't even know if that's a compliment. No. I mean, I've never been called an angle, but. Certainly, if somebody called me an angle, I probably wouldn't. Um, I, I don't know if I'd take that in a good way or a bad way. I mean, I, I could see paranoid people taking that in a bad way. Do you know what I'm saying? I know just the song for such an occasion. Okay, let's hear it. Found out she's an angle. I don't think she knows I know. I'm worried that something might happen to me if anyone ever finds out. Wow, why did they send her over anyone else? How should I react? These things happen to other people. They don't happen at all. When you're following an angle, does it mean you have to throw your body off a building? Somewhere that me didn't know no pin hit, calling you an angle, calling you the nicest thing. I that's that that song is called She's an Angle and it was written by the Mighty Giants and uh, I think it speaks that man's thoughts better yep. better than I could. <laughs> Somebody's calling you an angle. When they're calling you an angle, sitting on a um, pin head. Pin, pinhead, pinhead, sitting on a pinhead. <laughs> That's a funny song. That <laughs> is funny. That's a comedy song. Can you imagine sitting on somebody's pinhead and then just like spinning around because it's like this pointy top? And it would go. It would woo! go. You know, it would go all the way in. Oh, uh, you think it would just like corkscrew right up the behind? Yeah, the little, you're talking about this. Like a sphere, uh, one of those little colorful spherical pinheads? I was talking about a person who is a pinhead. Oh. Oh. So you're sitting on top of a person's pinhead. Yeah, spinning. Spinning. Sit and spin, as they say. Sit and spin, baby. Okay. Uh, That's what I'm talking about. Yeah. What are you talking about? I think it would go all the way up in there. All the way up. (laughs) That pinhead would be, well, hidden. Soon, you'd start out with a pinhead and a man sitting on it. Soon, you would just have a man sitting. <laughs> and where, where a neck should be begins another man. No one will ever know about that pinhead again. Nope. Thanks for the letter. Is that what we're talking about? <laughs> I don't remember. Hey! Well, we got a lot more of those. Here's another one for you. 
for you fine, fancy folks. We only have 10 minutes left of the show, I guess.